use slip mode in DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm gonna show you how. Ladies and gentlemen, come on! So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to find slip mode, what slip mode does, and some creative ideas on how to use slip mode. I'm gonna be showing you this in DJ Pro AI, but the same concept works with any DJ software that offers slip mode. And I'm also gonna teach you guys how to map it on any controller. For this example, I'll be using the Newmark DJ, the Newmark iDJ to go to touch, and there'll be a link down below. It's one of my favorite controllers. So let's get started with the video. Slip mode is located in the same spot where slicer mode is. So anywhere that you have access to the waveforms, you'll have access to slip mode. So you press this button up here, it's a little hard to see, but it's at the top of the waveform. And then you'll see at the top there's slice, and then right below it there's slip mode. So now what slip mode does is it's a very popular feature, almost all the DJ softwares offer it, is when you scratch, normally when you scratch or you put your hand on an active deck, it'll stop and then it'll scratch and then it'll play from there. Just like if you were playing a real record and you put your hand on it and stopped it, it would be playing from the same place when you let go. What slip mode does is it lets you scratch on the spot that you select, but then the record keeps playing. So I'm, I'll show you guys. This is with slip mode off. And then it just stops. So it's the same thing as if you press pause and then and then press play again. The record stops and then it goes from there. And this is good for when you're using the scratch tools or you're using scratch samples when you don't plan on playing the whole song and you just want to do a little bit of and scratch and then just have the record play from there. So slip mode is good when you're playing a track and then you want to scratch in the middle of the track but still have the track playing at the correct time. So we turn on, let's put the track back on. So we turn on slip mode and now slip mode is on. And then you'll see on the waveforms, it's kind of hard to see but just pay attention. And you'll see how it's it shows the record keep playing. I don't know if you saw that. You see down below, it keeps going. And then for however much time that you're scratching, it'll play from the same time as if you weren't scratching. So it's really cool. I like to do it before a drop. So you'll scratch before the drop and then let go and then the drop will still play at the right time like this. and then your record is still going. Also, if you have two tracks playing at the same time and you wanna scratch, it's not gonna mess up the sync. It's the tracks, are, if you have the tracks lined up before you start scratching with slip mode, it's still gonna be scratching. It's still gonna be in sync with the track when you stop scratching. So it gives you a lot more freedom to mess with active decks because you don't have to worry about the time being off or it messing up the integrity of the track. So now there's one big thing about slip mode and that's every new track that you load, it resets. So this one is on slip mode. If we look over here, slip mode. And now we go load another track onto the deck on the same deck and slip mode is off. So you have to turn it on every time you wanna use it, which could be annoying. And that's why I'm gonna show you guys how to map it on the controller onto a button so you could just press one of the buttons and slip mode is on on that deck. So the controller that we're gonna be mapping is the Newmark DJ to go to touch. And this is one of my favorite controllers. I recommend everyone that uses DJ Pro to get this controller. So I put a link down below and you could get one for yourself. So to plug in a controller, the DJ Pro, all you have to do is you got to have one of these and this is a USB-C adapter and it lets you plug in another USB and it lets you charge the iPad and this one actually has an HDMI port for doing video mixes. I talk about that in my other videos. So we're going to plug this into the iPad and now we're going to plug 
the charger into the charge port. This is very important because there's nothing worse than DJing a set and then having your iPad die. So make sure your iPad is charging at all times. And now we're gonna plug in our USB in the here. And if you look at the settings screen, you go to MIDI devices, there's nothing there. As soon as we plug this in, boom. You'll see the controller right there and then you'll see the controller light up. So now our controller is in and we're gonna go to DJ to go to touch. So what I like to do is I like to map one of these headphone buttons because DJ Pro, when you move the crossfader, it automatically adjusts the headphone to the other side. And when I honestly, when I use this controller, I don't really use headphones that much. I use the sync button and I focus on other things because this is a small controller and it's hard to do. So we're gonna go over here to find the button you wanna map, you just press the button. I was so confused, I was like, how do I know which button it is? You just press the button and then you'll be into the mapping. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is go to the target. The target is where it's gonna affect. So we want it to be deck two. So now, is it deck two? This is deck one, yeah. So this is gonna be deck two and now for action. Now this one, I went past it, so be careful. It's right here at the top when you go to toggle slip mode. So here's the top, and it's right here, toggle slip mode. I thought it would be by slicer mode, like alphabetical order, or like how it is in the app, but I went all the way down, and I didn't find it in slicer, and I went down a couple times, and I'm like, oh, I don't think you can map it, and it was going to change my whole video, but now I found it. So we're going to go over here to... Toggle slip mode. Toggle slip mode on. And now it's going to be mapped to where we mapped it. So right over here, toggle slip mode. So let's let's see it in app action. Save, done. Now we're gonna go over here and slip mode is off. We press the button, nothing happens. Now unfortunately, when I was when I was testing this out. I couldn't find a way to map it to turn slip mode on. So what, what we can do though, is we could turn it off. So you're DJing and then you feel like doing a, a slip mode routine, you're gonna go over here, turn slip mode on, do your routine, scratch away, and then when you're done and wanna go back to regular DJing, boom, it's off. So we could turn it off. So on, Boom, we're done with slip mode and we can go. So it's not perfect, but as a DJ and when you're using different types of controllers and trying to get different effects, you sometimes have to get creative, think out of the box, and sometimes there's no way to do it and you just have to find a way around it. So we can't turn it on, but we could use our controller to turn it off, which is definitely helpful. So if you guys like learning about DJing with the iPad and all the features of DJ Pro, and what's in store in the future of DJing, such as DJing in the metaverse, DJing with virtual reality. Subscribe to my channel, give this bit video a like. I've been making videos every single day and people have been asking questions in the comments and I'm glad to answer all the questions and you guys make this all possible. Thank you.